hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a review of the oraimo traveler three byte power bank uh, it has been in the market for a while and this is what it looks like so we are going to be looking at what you get when you buy the power bank its design and build quality the key features of the power bank and what i don't like and anything else that comes to mind so when you buy it uh, you get the power bank uh, a manual I also get a USB cable, one that you can use to charge the power bank or to charge your devices. Yeah, and that's it. So this is what you will be getting when you buy the power bank from Oraimo. In terms of the design and build quality, it's mostly plastic. It also has an LED display at the top that you can use to determine the remaining battery capacity. So let's look at the key features of the power bank. The most important or rather the one feature that we all look out for when you're getting a power bank is the capacity. So for this power bank, uh, its capacity is 27,000 milliamperes. Yeah, it also has three charging ports. Uh, you can either charge the power bank from this charging port or this two charging port. So this is the lightning charging port. Uh, when you use this one, your power bank will recharge very fast. And then you also have these two charging ports. So this one is a type C charging port and the lower one is a regular USB charging port. So you can use either of the three to charge your power bank. Now the power bank has two output ports. So there's this one and the lower one. You can use either or to charge your devices. So you can also charge two devices at the same time. So that is what we have there. At the side we have the power button uh, that you use to power on the device. So when you're charging your phone or any other device, you do not necessarily have to turn this on. When you plug in uh, the, your USB cable and your device, it automatically turns on. You can see it's charging. So to turn off the power bank, you simply long press and it turns off. So that's it in terms of those features. Uh, now let's look at the battery capacity uh, like i said the battery capacity for this power bank is 27,000 milliamperes now based on orimo uh, you can charge an iphone 12 about six times an iphone 12 mini seven to eight times the samsung galaxy s21 uh, 4.4 times which is about four times and the ipad mini 5 3.2 times so based on my experience, I've been able to charge uh, a Samsung Galaxy S8 about five times and a Samsung Galaxy S10 same about five times. So it's not off the mark. Uh, considering based on Orimo, you can charge the Galaxy S21 about 4.4 times. What I'm yet to determine is how many times uh, I can use the power bank to charge this phone. So with this phone, uh, one charge usually lasts about two to three days for me to charge it four times that will be about 12 days or more so if i'm to charge it like let's say six or more times oh that would be a lot of time so when it comes to charging this phone i have not tried it but with the samsung s10 and s8 it charges about five times before the power bank runs out so moving on another interesting feature of the power bank is its multi-protection safety system so based on Oraimo, uh, the power bank has six multi-protection safety features. So those six features ensure that you can safely use your power bank without worrying about any damages to your power bank or to any device that you're charging. So having looked at all that, um, what I don't like about the power bank uh, is that it only comes with one USB cable. Um, so we saw that you have two outputs and you only have one USB cable to either charge your device. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, aside from that, since you have three input systems, I would have hoped that they would have at least given us one USB cable and a, and a Type-C cable so that you're sorted regardless of whichever device you have. Uh, another thing that I don't like is that the power bank is quite heavy. When compared to other power banks, this one is fairly heavy. But then again, most power banks in the market are 10,000 milliamperes, and this one is 27,000 milliamperes. 
So maybe the battery capacity accounts for the weight of the power bank. You can also not fit this one comfortably in your pocket. It's quite large. It's literally the size of my palm. Yeah, so yeah, you can't fit it in your pocket easily. So I also wish it had a flashlight so that you can comfortably use it outdoors like when you're camping or when you're hiking. So in general, I think it's a good power bank. If you're traveling or spending time outdoors, uh, the power bank can serve you for several days. So would I recommend this power bank? Uh, absolutely, yes. In terms of its price and availability, uh, it's currently not available in the Kenyan Oraimo website, but it's still available in the Nigerian Oraimo website. So for the Kenyan Oraimo website, you can, if you'd like to buy it from there, you can keep checking. There's also an alternative 27,000 milliampere's power bank that's almost similar to this one, just a bit different. It has attached cables to it uh, that you can use to charge. I think about three attached cables to it that you can use to charge your devices. So yeah, that's it about this device. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.